Welcome to The Know, I'm Ashley Jenkins. And I'm Gus Sirola. If you spend any amount of time online at all, there is no doubting the fact that despite being gone, Harambe the gorilla still lives on in the hearts of the internet. But if the Cincinnati Zoo has its way, all of the Harambe memes and memorials will soon be gone as well. Following the controversial death of Harambe back in May and his subsequent rise to fame thanks to less than sincere internet memes, the Cincinnati Zoo is asking for people to stop the memeing altogether, which, knowing the internet, are just gonna make things worse. They, they don't know how this works, do they? They uh, really don't. If they kill the Harambe meme, how long before we start seeing the Justice for the Harambe meme petitions pop up online? I'm sure they're already there. This news comes from a statement that Cincinnati Zoo director Thane Maynard gave to the Associated Press about the spread of the Harambe memorials over the last several months. Maynard said, We are not amused by the memes, the petitions, and signs about Harambe. Our zoo family is still healing, and the constant mention of Harambe makes moving forward more difficult for us. Maynard went on to say, we are honoring Harambe by redoubling our guerrilla conservation efforts and encouraging others to join us. This of course has ignited pockets of Harambe lovers and faux Harambe lovers all over the internet who are accusing the zoo of trying to bury the story by asking us to forget Harambe. But of course, we will never forget. We are the internet and everything is on the internet forever. Yeah, speak for yourself, I'm, I'm not the internet. Uh, for those of you who have somehow missed out on the entire saga, Harambe became the center of an enormous controversy after his unfortunate death a few months ago. The incident happened back in May when a toddler crawled into Harambe's exhibit at the Cincinnati Zoo. The gorilla then approached and made contact with the child, after which zoo authorities chose to shoot Harambe in order to protect the boy. That's probably where it should have ended, with both sides agreeing that the people who had to make the regrettable decision were in a tough spot with few positive outcomes. But we know that's not possible on the internet. Naturally, people formed really strong opinions about the Harambe incident. Some were blaming the parents of the child and demanding punishment for them, while others were demanding punishment for the Cincinnati Zoo, who ended the gorilla's life instead of seeking a more peaceful resolution. They got all sorts of bananas, so to say the least. <laughs> hey! <laughs> With some calling for both zoo security and the boy's parents to be given the same fate as Harambe. What? Wow. Jokes about the ridiculous meme aside, and to be clear, any jokes we're making here are about the ridiculousness of the fallout rather than the gorilla being put down because that was legit really, really sad. It was a tragic event. It was a classic case of damned if you do, damned if you don't. But when has sense ever stopped the internet? Never! <laughs> Following the outrage, a number of petitions formed online regarding Harambe and his untimely demise. First, there was the Just for Harambe petition, which asked for the parents to be held accountable. That one's now got over 510,000 signatures. Then there was the Harambe's Law petition, now with over 210,000 signatures. So there are about 300,000 people sleeping on the job. Uh, it was calling for tighter restrictions and legal consequences when endangered animals are killed. How many signatures did the dicks out for Harambe petition get? Do we know? Millions, probably. The internet doing what it does best, aped the conversation to put a new spin on the word meme by creating a series of memorials for Harambe. Aww. I'm getting all the puns. You are. You're good at the puns. You like the puns. I do like puns. <laughs> the memorials took the form of your typical internet memes like photoshopped movie posters of remembering Private Harambe, but also a series of way more ludicrous petitions than the original ones. Out. For starters, there's the petition to erect a Harambe statue outside of the White House. There's also a petition to include Harambe in the upcoming Pokemon Sun and Moon. Ouch. Harambe is a ghost type, apparently, with the ability Meat Shield. That's... That's... Ow. That's, that's, I mean, it's... Not cool. Like, it's one of those things that, like, you have to laugh to keep from crying, but it hurts. More than 10,000 Harambe supporters took to WhiteHouse.gov to put Harambe on the $50 bill. There was also the call to change Cincinnati's name to Harambe City. These things all happened. This is what we do here. Not we could solve a lot of problems in the world, but instead we do this. Well, speaking of solving problems, if you're worried about either of our presidential candidates this November, a oh, recent no. Texas poll showed that Harambe has 2% of votes in the Lone Star State. We're doing good. Doing real good. But now people are getting kind of tired of the internet's shit. Well, Cincinnati Zoo in particular, and some feel it's gone too far. In addition to the Cincinnati Zoo saying to cut the memes out for Harambe, one Cincinnati TV station employee has started his own petition to stop the Harambe petitions. Oh my god. It's, it, look, it's, at this it's point, petition it's like, It really is. Uh, the employee told reporters that the goofuses of the internet hopped on the Harambe train for their jollies and it has gotten out of control. Who the fuck is this employee? Can I read that paragraph one more time? Please, please. <laughs> the employee told reporters that the goofuses of the internet hopped on the Harambe train for their jollies and it has gotten out of control. Who Who is this guy? Someone who's never been on Goof the internet. Goofuses and jollies? 
I mean, I think that from the, the terminology alone, we can make some guesses as to the era in which this person grew up. I don't know that they have internet yet. And judging by the Harambe subreddit, that quote about the goofuses is gonna become its own thing the internet falls in love with all over again. I mean, we are. The thread yeah. already has more than 5,000 upvotes, and an upvote is serious business. Yeah. No. This entire insane ordeal is just another example of people fundamentally misunderstanding the internet. You can't just tell the internet to stop doing something that amuses them or ask them to stop talking about it. It only makes it worse. Case in point, we wouldn't have talked about Harambe on the no unless someone told the internet to stop talking about Harambe. So there you go. By making these statements, Zuzu pretty much guaranteed that every single major news outlet is gonna be covering Harambe memes for the next few days and probably inspire the internet all over again to greater and greater heights. Those goofuses. Uh, if there's anything people should know about the internet, it's that people love a good challenge. We see the same thing every time someone gets the big idea to let the internet name something, hoping that maybe this time the internet won't vote to call our new research vessel Bodie McBoatface or new Mountain Dew flavored the Gushing Granny. That, by the way, the internet will never get better. The whole thing is also an interesting look at how memes form online and take on a whole new life. While there is a subset of people using the Harambe meme to mock the fact that the gorilla died, which sucks, the bigger thing at play here is that this is a commentary on the internet's ridiculous, totally polarizing responses to what went down. Wrong or right, it's a response to the response, an attempt to one-up the people who were one-upping each other about how sad they were over Harambe's death. And while it's obviously hard for the Cincinnati Zoo, it was clearly a traumatic major event that put an unwelcome spotlight on their facility. In some ways, the internet giving rise to this ridiculous meme helps Harambe to live on in a really strange sort of way. There are people out there who would have no idea who he was if not for these memes. True. And of course, there's gonna be some goofuses in the mix, but this is how the internet shows its love. And in many ways, the meme started as a response to all the vitriol and people calling for the zoo to be punished in the first place. But now we've ensured that we'll have plenty of more Harambe to take us through at least the next few weeks. Gonna be seeing an awful lot of dicks out. What do you guys think of the Cincinnati Zoo telling the internet to leave Harambe alone? Has it gotten too far out of control? Let us know in the comments. And for future updates on the super weird fascinations of the internet, because we love them too, like this video and subscribe to the know. I did this whole read with my dick out for you, Harambe. It was really hard not to look down. <laughs> <laughs>